It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, as we know, Tack Stone was arrested yesterday for his connection to the Irving Plaza shooting because his DNA was found like all over the gun that supposedly killed Banga, who was Troy Ave's bodyguard. Okay. Now I've been listening to other news people like report on this, and it's like you guys are acting shocked. But you guys are on the internet as just as much as me and just as much as anybody else. There was a million different camera angles of this damn shooting. And you could clearly see the people involved, okay? It was just a matter of time before the cops connected the dots. Now, you are innocent to proven guilty. Now, you know, these camera angles only tell a certain story, okay? It's up to a judge. It's up to lawyers and a jury to figure this out now. Now, Tax Stone got $500,000 bail with a lot of, like, uh, restrictions. So he'll probably make bail. We don't know what exactly happened here. All we know is Troy Ave uh, obviously was retaliating in that footage. And, you know, he was clear as day shooting, so they had to arrest him, okay? But we don't know if he was a victim trying to take out a shooter. I don't know what was going on. And then we, you know, you see certain individuals in the other angles. I mean, it's not, that's up to the police to decipher all that. But we all saw this stuff months ago. So don't act shocked when they're picking up certain people now, okay? Someone discharged a firearm in Manhattan in a popular nightclub, okay? Somebody had to go down for that. The cops were going to thoroughly investigate this. The mayor, they can't have this happening in Manhattan. At any other borough, they'll let it, like, you know, kind of slide a little bit. But Manhattan, where all the tourists come and everything, and, you know, they, they're not, they're not going to play any games with that. So they're going to thoroughly investigate this, and this is, uh, this is up to us just to report on the facts. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty by a jury and uh, a judge and lawyers all hash this out. It's, it's the cops problem now, but don't sit here on and, you know, report the news and act shocked that the people that are getting picked up, you know, like th this was all in the footage that we all saw on the Internet. It's all on YouTube. It's no secret footage. OK, you know, that's the thing about nowadays. You can't get away with anything, okay, because everybody's got camera phones. I'm not saying you should be getting away with stuff. I'm just saying everything is documented. It's like spooky. It's like, it's like everything. I can't even have a phone call with somebody now and feel comfortable that this is uh, between me and that person. They might be Instagram living me, which has happened to me. Uh, they might be recording me. Uh, or I might be out in the street and someone might be taking pictures of me or video of me and I don't even know, okay? Like, like that's what happened that night. Everyone's Instagramming, everyone has their photos out, everyone has video out. That's why there's so much evidence. Plus, not to mention DNA. It's hard to, like, they can solve crimes very easily, almost without a doubt, with DNA now. So, you know... Tax Stone, Troy Ave, anybody else involved, I hope they get good lawyers and they're able to prove, you know, whatever the truth is, you know, but, uh, you know, I can't say anything more than that, you know, I don't, I don't know these people personally that are involved, so, you know, uh, it was an unfortunate, that was the wrong place to have a problem with somebody, you know, you should have taken it somewhere else, you know, <laughs> Not in a public place like that. But anyways, I'll keep you guys up to date on this whole thing. I mean, it's real messy, man. Real spooky.